What is going on, NBA fanatics? It is your friendly neighborhood Memphis Grizzly Homer, Memphis X, and I talk hoops. We're here tonight. The Grizzlies are in action against the New York Knicks in the FedEx form, and we're going to talk about it. But first, every hero needs their theme music. Tonight, down at the Forum, we have the Grizzlies and the Knicks set to play 6.30 local times. That's Central Time. And it's going to be the first game on ESPN tonight. So national TV to start the season off. We are in a different world right now, Grizzlies fans. So... We're going to talk about what I expect to happen tonight and what I'm looking for tonight and give a little brief preview of what's going on. First, I'm going to give you my, um, well, we'll talk about the injuries first. We got the injury report yesterday evening. Uh, Zaya Williams is out. Of course, Jaron and Danny Green are out. And there was a, always a Grizz special on there. Dylan Brooks, doubtful. Thigh soreness, I think. Um, so he might be out tomorrow. I'm going to assume he's going to be out. And the Grizzlies are very cautious with him to start the season. With Jaron already out, they're not going to push the envelope. But I'm pretty sure if Dylan can play, he's going to play. So I got the uh, my thoughts on who's going to start with Dylan and Zaire out. I, of course, I have Ja Morant, Desmond Bain at the guards, Santi Aldama and Steven Adams as the bigs. And starting in place of Dylan Brooks, I have David Roddy. And the reason why I have Roddy over LaRavia is because they seem to be having Roddy play more small forward during the preseason. And LaRavia have it playing more power forward. And, well, that's the way I remember it anyway. So, I think that's the way it's going to go if Dylan Brooks can't go tonight. For the Knicks, I have Jalen Brunson, Evan Fournier, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson, which should be a very interesting matchup. I think the line opened up at this game. Uh, initially, it was 7.5. Then it dropped to six and a half. And after the injury report came out, it's down to five points. So if you got that seven and a half early, congratulations. Plus seven and a half would be, or minus seven and a half would be good. That minus five is going to be close. I think it's going to be a close game. And I think the game is going to be decided by who, which one of these poor shooting teams are able to hit threes tomorrow, well, tonight. So I think that's the way it's going to go. Um, uh, as you can see with uh, three-pointers, FanDuel is, they got to, you know, set up a little bit with FanDuel. Let's see, the player threes. You got, of course, the New York Knicks have more known quali- quantities. They got R.J. Barrett over and under at 2.5. Julius Randle, 1.5. Jalen Brunson, 1.5. Evan Fournier, 2.5. John Morant, 2.5. And Desmond Bain, 3.5. So I think that's a good matchup. Uh, I think you're going to get a couple from uh, Santi tonight. If David Roddy plays, you're going to get a couple from him. If Dylan Brooks plays, I think you're going to get a couple from him. Uh, it just depends on who plays tonight. I think Bain is going to go off. And I think John Morant's going to go off. I'm predicting that both of them combine for 60, at least 60 points tonight. That is my prediction for them. And I think the Grizz still eke out a win. 107, 104, 
Grizzlies win their home opener. Um, they hold on. I think they're going to hold on to win at the end. John Morant is going to make play after play after play down the stretch. Fourth quarter, John's going to make its appearance. And I think he's going to score 15 ish points in the fourth quarter. And that's going to be the end of the Knicks. I don't really see anybody on the Knicks being able to stop him. I think the Grizzlies are going to have a little trouble um, with Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle, but we'll see how that goes. If Roddy starts or who starts, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, the starters aren't official. The Grizzlies, I have them. What did I say? 107, 104 Grizzlies win. So I would not bet um, that. Um, I would, oh man, the line has dropped since I've been talking to you guys. It's now down to uh, four and a half, minus four and a half for the Grizzlies. That's real tight. The under is 226, and I would be all on that. I don't think, I think the, both of these teams are going to struggle to score. Um, but yeah, as far as everything else, that is up to you. Um, as far as the score, I already said, I think the uh, John Morant, Desmond Bain are going to combine for 60 points. And you see John Morant's over-under is at 29.5. Desmond Bain is at 15, at 19.5. I would really jump on that Desmond Bain line. I think he's going to really score. Stephen Adams at 6.5. Stephen Adams, sometimes he's just not interested in scoring, so it's hard to tell. But we'll see. I think it's going to be a good line. All around, I think it's going to be some a good game all around. It's going to be a good game all day. It's going to, it's going to be a lot of games. I'm going to try. I'm going to make it to the game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay the whole game, but I might have to leave at halftime. But wherever it goes, I am going to watch the game in its entirety. Um, so we're going to do a review of the game tomorrow. The Grizzlies games are coming Fast and Furious. I think we got four games in six nights. So they're going to be back to back to back to back. We're knocking them out. Um, hopefully we can take advantage of these tanking teams and get some wins early while Jaron is out. And kind of bank some wins up so we don't have to get sound the alarm or rush Jaron back. But guys, let me know what you think is going to happen tonight in the game. Do you think the Grizzlies are going to win? Do you think Ja Morant, who is... The leading scorer, I believe, in the NBA of active players on opening night at 31 points per game. I think he's going to go big. He might even get 40. I think this is going to be the year that Ja cracks 50. Um, and I think Desmond Bain is going to crack 40 this year. So those are things I'm looking forward to. I'm not saying it's going to happen tonight. But like I said, comment in the comment section. Who do you have for tonight's game as far as winning and losing? And I will see you guys tomorrow when we do a review of this Grizzlies opening night win. Peace.